school administrator is under fire tonight for a shocking statement comparing cheerleaders at the school to strippers. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell live at Harrison High in Farmington Hills with an outraged mom who's speaking up tonight. Alan? Well, Dave, outraged may be keeping it pretty calm right now, but after speaking with Doreen Griffin tonight, she tells me that she was hurt and upset after her daughter came home from attending a pep rally here at Farmington Harrison High School and learning an administrator here at the school actually called out her daughter's cheer team and degraded them. You got to refer to those students as strippers, and now you're right back hands-on working with them. On September 21st, Farmington Harrison High School cheerleaders held a pep rally in the school gymnasium when something was said by a school administrator. She said the assistant principal referred to the routine that the girls performed at the pep rally and said she wouldn't allow them to perform anymore or would not want to uh, have them perform anymore because they look like strippers. Griffin, an educator herself, says this kind of language is disappointing. We have a bigger role. Uh, we have to bring those students up as far as make them feel important, we have to inspire. We have to motivate. School officials have been dealing with the fallout after the comment was made. I reached out to the school for comment. They sent me the letter they sent to the Harrison community after the incident. That reads in part, quote, measures have been taken to begin to set up the restorative practice process to help facilitate the repair of the damaged relationship between the staff member and these students. I believe that we all will learn from this incident to strengthen an already positive, supportive learning environment. That mistake means it's time for change. We in society, we've been so busy sweeping mistakes under the carpet, ignoring them, ignoring the voice that speaks up that says, wait a minute, that hurt, that wasn't right. For Griffin, comments like these need to be left out of the school, especially by someone supposed to be a leader for students. Speaking up was the right thing to do, and so that the students that follow won't be afraid to speak up as well. Done are the days of just being quiet, turning the other cheek, and pretending that it doesn't happen. And after that comment was made, I'm told the administrator quickly apologized. I'm also told the administrator is no longer working with students at the school while the district continues to investigate. For now, reporting live in Farmington Hills, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Alan.